Welcome back, everybody. Yeah, I know, it's been a while. I've been sick. I've been throwing up for the past month. But on a serious note, I was sick for about a couple of weeks, and then God of War came out, and that took over my life, so... I kind of put this on hold, you know? It's, uh, it, w it was a terrible decision, and I'm glad to be back. But anyway, as you could probably see on the screen right now, I got a Ramones Trivia. And I thought it'd be pretty cool to do this video just because I'm going to do another Ramones video in the near future. But that's all I'm going to say about that. Without further ado, let's begin. Let's see if I'm full of shit. Let's see if I know what the hell I'm talking about. For those of you that don't know or haven't seen, I got a Ramones tattoo, baby. So let's see if I'm deserving and worthy of this piece of shit. All right, camera good? Sweet. All right. Let's go, baby. All you punk rockers, it's now your time to shine. Take this Ramones challenge <clears throat> and see how well you know this classic punk rock band. Good luck and have fun. Nobody knows more than me, jackass. Where was the Ramones founded? You're kidding me with this one, right? Alright, I guess I gotta throw you a curveball. Okay. What's it? How about? How about? So I gotta press start? There you go. What the fuck? Huh. There you go. Okay, where was the Ramones founded? New York City, baby. Correct. When was the Ramones formed? Okay, this one's a little tough. I think... Did Ramones come out in 74 or 70... No, Ramones came... It had to have been 74, so... Alright, I'm going with 72. Okay. Anthony doesn't have that. What? Damn, it was 74. What the fuck, man? Okay, Anthony doesn't have as much confidence as he thought he did. He thought he would know more about this. What the hell, man? Which of the following record labels was not associated with the Ramones? Beggar's Banquet, Phillips, Sire, Radioactive, and Roadrunner. Okay, well I know that Sire is obviously the fucking hugest part of their career. I know Radioactive was the latter part of their career. And I thought that was the only two labels they were ever with. Are you kidding me? Like, we're... Are you kidding me? Come on, man. This is a bullshit question. Where are the where are the questions about the damn band? What the hell? Beggar's Banquet. I've never even fucking heard of that. I'm assuming Phillips is like the huge Phillips CD company. I know Roadrunner is. Damn, this one's fucking tough. Are you kidding me? Uh, 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 I'm going Phillips. Oh, I was fucking Roadrunner. That was my other guess. Fuck! What well, album was released in 1989? Too Tough to Die, Brain Drain, Animal Boy, Halfway to Sanity. Uh, but, but, but I know it's not Too Tough to Die for a fact. It's not Animal Boy. It was halfway to sanity and then brain drain. And it was what, like Bizarro was 90 or 91? Uh, fuck it, I'm going brain drain. Yeah, baby! Back on the horse. Ah. Who was the drummer from 74 to 78? Really? First of all, you give me the answer to an earlier question and a later question, which I guess is alright. You couldn't have given me that shit before, but really, this one's a little too easy. Elvis. Elvis Ramon, ladies and gentlemen. The barely known Clem Burke, who was Elvis Ramon for two shows. Why didn't you ask me that question? Richie Ramon. Richie! I saw Richie in 2014. He's fucking awesome. I'd love to do an interview with him one of these days, actually. It's ironic that I'm wearing a Ramon shirt. I didn't even plan this out or anything. 
But anyway, yeah, there's not a lot known about Richie and his time in the Ramones other than he was in the band for about five years. He recorded three albums. He left over a dispute over t-shirt money. He felt he should have got some of t-shirt money, which FYI, he should have. That was probably Johnny's decision not to give it to him if I had to take a guess. But it would be awesome to do an interview with him and figure out his mindset of what went down in that five years, what he thought about everybody. I think he was close to Dee Dee is what I remember. I believe Dee Dee's ex-wife, Vera, was uh, good friends with Richie's wife or him and Richie, whatever, whatever. Anyway, so yeah, Richie Ramon, Joey Ramon, which technically would technically be the right answer in 74 or 73. Would it have been before 74 when Joey was? I, I don't know. But Joey would technically be the right answer if you're going to include the first year. And then Tommy Remin, which is obviously Tommy, ladies and gentlemen. Bam! What year did the Ramones release their first studio album, Ramones? 75, 76, 77, or 78? 76. No, no, is it 76? 76. Yeah, baby, 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 baby. This one goes out to you, Dee Dee. <sighs> How many studio albums did the Ramones make? So there was Ramones, Leave Home, Rocket to Russia. Road to Ruin, End of the Century. Was it Subterranean Jungle or yeah, I think it was Subterranean Jungle and Them Pleasant Dreams or maybe it was the other way around. I don't remember. Too Tough to Die. Animal Boy, Halfway to Sanity. So that makes ten right there. Brain Drain, Mondo Bizarro, Acid Eaters, Adios Amigos, 14. 14, baby! This one goes out to you next, Johnny. Even though you had some shitty political views. What was the only compilation album to go gold? This one's a tough one. I don't think I know this one. Hey, ho, let's go the anthology. Greatest hits. Uh, Ramones Mania. Loud, fast Ramones. The best of the Ramones. It's, it's Ramones Mania. I'm almost positive, actually. Pretty sure it's Ramones Mania. Yes! On the first live album, It's Alive, which of the following was not included on the track listing? Do I own It's Alive? I don't think I own It's Alive. I think I own the DVD, It's Alive. Um, 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 uh. So it's Commando, Pinhead, Judy is a Punk. Now I want to sniff some glue and the KKK took my baby away. See, for some reason, I'm leaning towards Commando, but common sense tells me that it was something left off that would either be now I want to sniff some glue or the KKK took my baby away where they would consider it bad subject matter or whatever the fuck. Um, um, um. I'm going Commando, I don't care. I knew it. You guys seen that. You seen the fucking arrow. You seen where it was going, baby. Should have got that one. When did vocalist Joey Lamon die? And they're giving me... Oh, man. I know it was 2001. It's... Oh, my God. They're going to give me two dates within the same year. And then the same for 2000. But I know it was 2001. It was either the 14th or the 15th. I can't... Uh... Oh my 
God, you gotta be kidding me, Dad. Dad. <clears throat> Duh, I'm not sure what the hell. Uh, I'm gonna go 14th. Uh, uh, no, no, no. Joey, don't go. Hey, hey, hey. Don't take Joey away. Well, I heard it on the TV, so I know it must be true. And I still can't quite believe it, but there's nothing you can do. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't give life to a stone. And you can reach into the slaughter, but you can't kill Joey Ramone. No, no, no. Joey, don't go. Are you kidding me? You're gonna do the same thing with Dee Dee? Oh my god. I know it was 2003. <sighs> oh my god. This isn't even fair, dude. Why do they gotta punish me like that? This is just ridiculous. Uh, June 6th, June 5th, June 6th, June 5th, June 6th, June 5th. What do you guys think? I can't hear you. I I I I I can't hear you. I, I the, the uh, uh, June sixth. June sixth. What? It was two thousand two. No. 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 All right, we're we're settling this right now. I could have sworn he died in 03, No thanks. No thanks. No, are you serious, Bobby? June fifth, two thousand two. Are you fucking kidding me? Really? Wow. I'm sorry, Dee Dee. You're my favorite member. If that helps. That's some dumbass shit. Which member did jo Johnny Ramone not get along with? Dude, I swear to God, if it's gonna be something stupid like all of these, this fucking. That's gonna be so stupid. Oh, I was gonna be so mad if it wasn't. 12 out of 15. Alright, come on. We still have a fight. What was the Ramones' first single? Bonzo goes to Pittsburgh and goes out for a cup of tea. As I watched it on TV, somehow it really bothered me. Ramones is considered to be the founding fathers of which genre of rock? You're serious? You serious, pro profs? Pro profs? You're serious right now. I th I think you guys need to step aside. Let me let me write some punk rock quizzes because your shit is either like almost irrelevant or something that like not a lot of people would know, which I guess is part of the point of this, or like literally the easiest things ever. L literally question fourteen out of fit. Do I have one more question after this, or is this fifteen? 14 okay I do have one more at least I was about to say if that was the last question that's that would be ridiculous so at least we have one more in the movie rock and roll high school featuring the Ramones obviously which song was not included in the soundtrack questioningly this one's okay okay this is I, I want to say this is a decent question questioningly California Sun, I want you around. Beat on the brat. Do you want to dance? Um, I want you around. Definitely was. California Sun was in the soundtrack. I thought beat on the brat. Uh, I'm going beat on the brat. BAM!
submit my answers, motherfucker. By the way, if you guys just heard a loud noise in the background, that is my mama coming home. So don't mind that noise. All right, did it just say? 67 out of a... Are you kidding me, dude? That's like a... It's like a C, dude. Are you shitting me? Are you kidding me? 67? No, 70 out of 100. That, I don't... Yeah, it's like a C, dude. 66.67 out of 100 points. 10 questions. Correct answers, 10. Qu correct answers, 10 question and correct answer. What? Okay, whatever. Okay, I got the first one, not the second one. Not the third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. Look at that streak I was on. Are you kidding me? Should have got that one. April 15th, 2001. Okay, so I got both the deaths wrong. Luckily, fucking Johnny's wasn't in there because I probably would have got that wrong too. I know it was in 2004. Okay, Joe Ramon, easy question, easy question, easy question. Okay, so I guess that wasn't too bad. That was a that was a little a little fun quiz. If you guys uh, if you guys enjoyed that, make sure to uh, to smash that like button as the Call of Duty and Fortnite British YouTubers would say, smash that like button. Leave a comment down below. Maybe I'll do another one of these in the near future. This was pretty fun. I enjoyed doing this. Let me tell you that. All right. Until next time. Wow.